baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Mets taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started. First pitch moments away, and towing the slab, the guy with the big yacker, the yellow hammer, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. He's racked up over 2,000 strikeouts in his career. He's such a competitor out in the mound. So fun to watch him work. I'm excited for this one. The wind of the pitch. Brandon Nimmo, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And it's one and one. One and one. And that's in the dirt. Chris Adam Wainwright, for all the accolades, multiple All-Star games, multiple gold gloves, he may have the title as one of the best pitchers to never win a Cy Young award. Then, of course, yep, there's that curveball. On to first. One up, one down. That the short shot. Francisco. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Yeah, and he is the Uncle Charlie of this era. Guy's just got a phenomenal one. It seems like he has gotten better as he has aged. More finesse, ability to move his pitches around, and boy, the combination between Wainwright and Yadier Molina, the story. Center field. O'Neill drifts towards it, and there's two away. That is third. The second base. Jeff, Jeff McNeil stands in. McNeil. On the ground to the left. Now the throw to first on the run. That's the third out. Nothing doing for the Mets. Now the Cardinals will see what they can do. There's no score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the Back here in St. Louis. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty. Just like you, Chris. Jose Quintana. What should we keep an eye on here? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. We go to the bottom of the first. Tommy Edmond at the Edmund plate. Edmund. The left fielder. Tommy Edmund. The pitch. And that one oh, just that's missed that's off the outside edge. And a curve misses outside. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Ripped, but it curls foul. And a big swing and a miss. Got him. One away. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. First no. pitch doesn't find the zone. Good eye right there. Two balls, no strike. The next oh. offering misses, and that's three ball up. three. Right. And a strike in there. Oh. 
Hard hit, left field, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Man at first with one gone. Here's Nolan Arenado. Another solid power season. In there for strike one. And a pitch. Check swing, no appeal. One ball, one strike. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Now all even up. Next offering misses down and away. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. That's in there. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And now the lefty. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. On the ground to first. Lindor, that's one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And that's in for a strike. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 now. Got him! Huge strike out there. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in St. Louis, top of the second, here's some real power at the plate. Pete Alonso. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Wainwright back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Wainwright winds and fires. Ripped to short. Over to Goldie. And quickly one away in the second. That is it. The first base baseman. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. In 
there, and it's 0-1. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Snags it on the run. Two down. Francisco Alvarez will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And there's a ball. And that's too high. No score here in the second. That one out to right. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. So two down. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. Ground ball, Goldie. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And that is the third out of the inning. Mets leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Bush Stadium. Now it's the right fielder, Jordan Walker. The right fielder, Jordan Walker. The pitch. That's down and in. What a note. Next offering is in for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Good eye in that spot. that one down the line oh. and it goes just foul three balls two strikes the count got him swinging couldn't hit the fastball at the knees here's Andrew Kisner and the first pitch misses for ball one Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of Daniel inning number two. Not short stop. Taylor Motter. Taylor Motter getting ready to hit. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And downstairs. The 1 1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. 
Here's a 2 2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, all Maybe set for the start that. of the inning. And the stepping in for New York, Jonathan, Jonathan Arauz. Arauz. Arauz measures six feet even, 195 pounds, and he was born in Panama. Over to Goldie. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting up. The right fielder, number 30. Rafael Ortega stands in. That pitch clips the outside oh, corner, man. and that is strike one. And a good eye there. Bounce to the left side. Fair ball. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So the lineup flips over. Here's the left fielder, Brandon Nimmo. Grounded out to short in his first trip. That one pushed foul. Singy, here's an Adam Wainwright nugget. He's faced every team in the majors except the St. Louis Cardinals. Ortega over at first with one away. Strike two. Go ball. Strike. Yeah, that one skips ball. in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Wainwright comes set, fires. He goes down looking. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In the air, out towards left center. Squeezes it, and that ends the inning. Met strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. As we go Leading to the last of the third. Cardinals. And stepping the in for the Cardinals, baby. Jose oh, Fermin. And a pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. The pitch. And that's outside. One ball, one strike. And strike two. Kicks and fires. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Arauz takes it in for the out. And there's one away. Now that. No left field here. Tommy. Edmund. 
back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. On the inside corner for a strike. Edmond, 27 years old, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. The 0 1. And it's fouled away. And one and two. Oh, pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Started after the 1 2 pitch. Appeal to first. Nope, he held back. Fly ball down the line. He dives, but he can't make the catch. The throw into second, not going to get him. He's in there. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. One out, runner at second. Now up for St. Louis, Paul Goldschmidt. And he's already singled in this game. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. And he deals. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count is 0 and 2. Just misses the mark outside the zone. That's a really good take. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch misses, and the count is even, two and two. To third. Sends it to Vogel back. And they get Goldschmidt for the out. Now Nolan. Here's Nolan Arenado. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And delivers outside. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you. So make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Edmund around third. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Contreras in his seventh season batting in the cleanup spot. And he's usually a catcher today. He gets off his legs a bit. He's the DH. The 1 0. And that one lifted in the air center field. Alonso moving in on this one. Makes a nice running catch. And that's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now 1-0.
Major League Baseball is on the show. Start of the fourth, and stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil. Wainwright back to work. In the air, out towards right center. O'Neill getting an angle on it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Now that the center. Here's Pete Alonso. Grounded out his first time. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First offering misses badly for ball one. And another ball. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Wayne Wright is ready and fires. There's a strike. Two and one now. Fought off foul. Wayne Wright, a 2 2. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. 2 2. And that's downstairs and outside. On the ground, right side. And it stays fair. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, digging for two. And the tying runs at second base with a double. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A.B. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. One down. And now the first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. He's over one. There's a strike. One out and a runner at second. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Runner leads away at second. Not close with that one. It's a ball and two strikes. Alonso over at second. One down. And now it's even up. Bounce to the right side. Fermin in plenty of time to first, two out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball now, out now, of the now. air. Yep, Let's yep. the defense work Francisco. behind him with another ground ball. Alvarez. Good execution. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Doubled his first time up. And that is in for a strike. 0 and 1. Rudder at third, two away. Two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Riding to the plate. Dives, but it's off his glove. Save. 
Fantastic effort, but that extends the inning. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Now it's D.J. Stewart. Grounded out his first time up. In the air out to center. O'Neill flashes the leather on the running catch. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. All tied 1-1. And welcome back. John Chappie and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, The wind and the pitch. There's a strike. You know, these cards showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The lefty ready, and a 1-1. On the ground right side, and foul ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next offering is foul back. The one two. That one oh, missed. Good. Slow roller to third. And he grabs it in foul ground. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. High fly ball down the left field line. That's back there. And out of here. Tyler O'Neill sends it out. It's his eighth home run of the year. And that gives him the lead. It's 2-1. I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. He was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Next to hit, Jordan Walker. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike, going one. Swing and a miss. Action in the Mets bullpen. Dennis Santana preparing to come on if needed. The pitch. That's the third. Arauz. Throw is low and he can't pick it. Now and now the Cardinals catcher, Andrew Kisner, rolled out to second in his first at bat. Foul ball. The pitch. Liner, base hit. Walker around second, headed for third. Oh, the throw is wild. And he'll make it up to second as he advances on the throwing error. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it costs them a run. And now the shortstop, Taylor Motter. Caught looking his first time up. 
That hits the dirt. One and oh. Kisner stands at second with no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. And he chases that one below the zone. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. A oh, pretty good break on the curveball right there. Maybe not as down in the zone as he would have liked, now but that's deceptive that's enough that's to get that swing and miss. Oh, okay. And if you don't catch that pitch out Fair front on the barrel, it bears in on you pretty hard. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Oh, and two now. In the dirt. The throw to first. Got the out. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. Back to the top of the lineup. Tommy Edmond next up for the Cardinals. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Runner at second, two down. Off the mark there, and the count is two, two and oh. Just oh. missed. Paul Goldschmidt up next for the Cardinals. In for a strike, now three and one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Three one now. That one hooked foul. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss, and that is that. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the yard. We played four. It's the Cardinals three and the Mets one. Back here in St. Louis, new inning getting started. And here is Jonathan Araouz. Yeah, the right hander back to work. That one ripped. Gone! He'll circle the bases, and they slice into the lead. It's 3-2. One pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Rafael Ortega up now for the Mets. Ripped on a line. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he's there with a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. 
But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Back to the top of the Mets order. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. First offering misses the mark. And the right hander deals. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Runner at second, nobody out. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. Left hand batter waits. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now bad shortstop. Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Ball one, no strikes. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. And now here's Jeff McNeil. McNeil. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That clips the corner. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. just missed he hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day he's in danger of walking his first batter right here three one and he couldn't come up with it it's been a little bit of a shaky inning but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs he's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy Alonso stands in here, takes ball one low. Next pitch is outside, and it's 2-0. Oh. He's clearly trying to work him away here, both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. 2-0. Oh. Swings through that one out in front that time. McNeil off of first with two away. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. They get two and draw even again. Last half of the fifth coming up. All tied up at three apiece. Dennis Santana gets the call from the pen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. 
Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt. Singing you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That misses. Two balls, no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split-finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets sorts of misses. Three-one is on the way, and that's ball four. Nolan Arenado next up for the Cardinals. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And no movement on the bases. It's ball one. Nobody out. Runner at first. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. In the air right field. Ortega under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. Now the designated hitter. Wilson. And up next for St. Louis, Wilson Contreras. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. First pitch no. just misses. Foul off down the right side. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. Pitch misses. Two and two. And here it comes. Goes down looking. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Two and one. That oh, misses the oh. zone. And now three and one. Jordan Walker to bat next. Next offering is foul back. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul tip. Oh, that got her up higher. And it looks like it got him upstairs. Here comes a 3-2. And there's ball four. Now at the plate, Jordan Walker. the outside corner and that's strike one oh. 
fouled off. He was late. Here's the 0-2. Right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair. Five innings complete. All tied up at three apiece. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's Daniel Vogelback. Daniel Vogelback. Wainwright back to work to the right side and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth the catcher Francisco so up next for New York Francisco Alvarez well on the mound very efficient able to produce an outcome it seems like within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Alvarez, just 21 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Strike two. And that's in the dirt. The wide to kick the pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Stewart in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Way inside, gets out of the way. Here comes a pinch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. And that one missing low. Just off the outside edge. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Right-hander kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Three and two now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Jonathan Arauz up now for the Mets. And that's in there for strike one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Thompson, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Number 31 getting cranked up as well. Stewart, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is downstairs. One one is fouled off. And the righty deals. Two and two. Back 
battling here as he fouls it away. Struck him out swinging. Had him out front for strike three. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. All tied up at three apiece. Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the six. Now up for St. Louis, Andrew Kisner. The right-hander back to work. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Stirring in the bullpen for the Mets. Sam Kunra, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Next pitch off the play. And that is ball one. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Barely got him for the out. Close play. And now Taylor Motter. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Fermin stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is down low. Good eye right there. In there at the knees. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And now it's Three filled up. And a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. One, two, three, go to Cardinals. Still tied, three and three. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Zach Thompson. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And stepping in for New York, Rafael Ortega. The right fielder, number 30. Rafael Ortega. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. And that one is inside. And there's a ball. Pitch misses there. Three balls and a strike. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him swinging. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Brandon Nimmo.
So the batting order turns over. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That catches the outside corner. Strike one. Kicks and deals. Misses oh, outside. And now it's even one and one. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Runner on at first with one gone. And next for the Mets, Francisco Lindor. And that one fouled off. Strike two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. That one misses, and the count is one and two. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. Swing and a miss, that's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now it's the second baseman, yeah, yeah. Jeff McNeil. McNeil. Outfield playing pretty shallow. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Kicks and fires. Little chopper rolls foul. And now the lefty swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Mets leave one. Score remains tied at three. The pitcher on here, Sam Kunra. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 45, Sam Kunra. Back to the top of the order. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Tommy Edmund. Tommy Edmund. The wind of the pitch. And he pumps it a strike. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Riding to the plate. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Good sinker low in the zone right, right there and Number produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. And here's Paul Goldschmidt. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. And that's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. One down, base is empty. That one ripped right center field. Back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Everything came together for him. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Got a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. And it's second with one away. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. That one not close, and it's 1-0. Oh. Oh. 
And it's second. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 1-1 one, one now. Good eye in that spot. And another ball. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Wilson Contreras waiting for a turn at the plate. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the strike. Caught him looking for the K. Big strikeout there as he works to strand that go-ahead run at second base. But job's not done yet. Got to get that last out before you can exhale and get back into the dugout. It's kind of tough to do with this home crowd applying so much pressure. Now it's going to be Wilson Contreras. First offering misses the mark. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count, just not able to square it up. Runner leads away at second. That's in there, and it's one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Goldie at second with two down. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. He'll score, it's 4-3. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. And the first offering is okay. not close. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. On the ground, and that's just foul. The 2 2 now. That one missed. Jordan Walker in the St. Louis on deck circle. Three two. Good job to fight that one off. And a 3-2. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Two on, two outs. Walker started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Two outs. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Cards on the board with this double. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
So they turn to the veteran pitcher in this spot, number 34. And he's had a struggle so far this year, as you can see the inflated ERA. Looking to bring that down a little bit right here. Well, one run game. Here's the center fielder, Pete Alonso. He's sort of your typical power hitter. Wouldn't necessarily call him a three true outcome guy, but he's in there to hit home runs. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. Fans dig the long ball, bro. Movement to the bullpen for the Cardinals, Giovanni Gallegos. The closer getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. The 1 0. And a foul ball. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. And he deals. Misses inside. Now two balls and a strike. That's inside. Daniel Vogel back. Waits on deck. And it's filled up. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the fourth count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On to pinch run, Tim Locastro. Daniel Vogel back. Up now for the Mets. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Swung on, belted. That one is back. Gone. Home run number 10 of the year, and they take the lead. It's 5-4. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. Here's the catcher to hit, Francisco Alvarez. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Just missed. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. The wind of the pitch. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Number 31 gets handed the rock out of the pen. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And next is the designated hitter, DJ Stewart. First pitch, and he just misses. Back and forth we go, a seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. That clips the corner. Next pitch is inside, two and one.
hit in the air right field Walker gets under it he makes the grab out number two now that out the third baseman Jonathan and now Arauz. it's switch hitting third baseman Jonathan Arauz He was late there, strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Swing and a ball popped up, and that is that. Mets had two runs on this blast. And the home team down a run. You're dialed into the show. Now into the ball game on defense, Tim Locastro. He'll be patrolling center field. So they turn things over to the righty, Drew Smith. Well, he's a big time strikeout guy out there. This season, averaging more than one per inning. And now the catcher comes up to him, Andrew Kisner. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The pitch. There's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The tying run at the plate. That one's in there. That's strike two. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. The 0-2. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. The 2-2. Two -two. Next offering is outside. Taylor Motter in the on-deck circle. And he walked him. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0-2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. Modder in the box now. Take strike one. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. Kisner gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings through that one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that. And I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. There's the strike. Slapped foul. One run game, one out, one on. Next oh. offering is downstairs. Oh. 
hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Edmund in the box now takes strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The pitch. And now one and two. On the ground to third. They get the force. Inning over. The cards leave one. They trail it. 5 4. You're now into the game, Richie Palacios. He'll play second. Now playing second. Rafael Ortega up now for the Mets. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty lefty matchup. The wind and the pitch. And ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. That's out to center field. O'Neill hauls it in, and there's one away. The left field, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. And now it's going to be Brandon Nimmo. In there for strike one. That's a strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. That's hard hit on the line. Edmund pulls it in, and there's two away. Now that here's Francisco Lindor. In there and it's 0 and 1. Now, this is in the air down the line. Edmund going after it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Three up, three down that time. 2 3 4 set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets five and the Cardinals four. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Number zero, Adam Adovino. Now the number two hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And a pitch. Way high. And a 1 0. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Ball to strike the pitch and now two and one after that missed inside really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far he doesn't look anxious at all swing and a miss it's two and two gets a piece there we'll do it again
The pitch. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. And that skips into dirt. Looking to get the tying run on base. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. In the air, left field. Nimmo has it sized up. Hauls it in for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. Now, that front shoulder that's coming that's open that's instead of staying that's closed. That's if he does that, that's he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. Line to left. Fair ball. Goldspin makes the turn at second. Coming home. Cut off. Now a throw home. And he's out. Man, that's a play we may look back on when this one's over and wonder what if they would have held him. Can't blame him for trying to tie it up late in this ball game, but when you lose a huge run like that that's only 90 feet away, man, it's a tough one to swallow if they don't pull out the W. So they're down to their final out. And up next for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. Trying to deliver as the hero. In the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. The one on. And that's oh. down it away. Oh. Swing and a miss. Oh. And it's two and two. Good eye right there. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Man on second, two down. Strike three, got him swinging. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. That looked like the pitcher was getting into a little trouble there, but quickly brought out a pitch that isn't what most hitters are looking for with that great velocity. But it was really good movement on the changeup and a nice win today. Close one here today and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.